Hello. Hey guys. Welcome back to Read Only Memories with episode, your friends. Episode Ch Chesto four. the Cheeto. Chesto Cheeto and the new Skook Bunu. What? Oh, Nesquik Bunu. <laughs> 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 Fucking damn it. <laughs> new Skook Bunu. Whatever. New uh, did I already read that? Bunu. Have you been overwatering it? Yeah, we, we did read that. Um. Uh. Do you plant, don't plants need lots of water? It's actually a succulent, and uh, since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your, your eye wall is flourishing. God fucking damn. Fuck you. Ah. Uh. That's wilty. I got it from a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Do we call the landlord? Or do we talk about our decorative plant? Uh. That. I have, in fact, already taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. God fucking damn it. But considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, I am not confident he has a history of following through. Yeah, you think? Yeah, seem, seems like that's the case. Perfect. I would suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a net search, and the man is is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Oh, good. Yep. That's exactly what I needed to hear today. Yep. Perhaps we should bring him, bring some sort of bribe? Perhaps, uh, oh. I will continue to formulate a stratagem. Or we could bring a gun. That, I mean, I'm... That's not a bribe, it's more of a negotiation tactic. <laughs> or, 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 and hear me out, it's oh. a forced bribe. That's just a nice way of saying negotiation <laughs> tactic, or, which is or, just a nice or, way of saying you're going to we're bribing him. him. We're bribing him by not shooting him. <laughs> I, will, I will not shoot you if you fix my fucking apartment. You know, the one that I pay my rent for, that I have to slave over a hot computer that doesn't even work anymore to review shitty headphones. I have a lot of pent up anger. I can tell! <laughs> Christ, what's been eating you? E? Uh. We'll save that for a later episode. Uh, okay. Uh. That's Wilty. I got him from a friend a couple of months ago. How thoughtful of them! <laughs> Fucking sarcasm. <laughs> the Crisella. No, they're talking about that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It the was Crisella still Ovada, also known as the Jade Plant, Money Tree, Lucky Tree, or Friendship Tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. Wait. Oh, and Anne. I thought that was a typo. And and. They make a beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. Yeah. Yeah, no, we figured that really one out pretty quickly. Place together. Yeah, what do you want me to do? I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant, if I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. Well, looking at the apartment we live in, there's a very good chance we're not going to be doing it. Probably. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Wow. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. Jesus. Well, now we know. Turing, please. Well, forgive me for giving it. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Excellent. The supply should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, one other thing, butt clench. God damn it, I'm not going to get over that. <laughs> <laughs> when I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crisella ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. Really now? There's, a sci there's scientific evidence that shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. Probably. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. That sounds so edgy. Shut the fuck off, oh my god. <laughs> it will really pull the whole room together. Oh my god. 
You know, once we get the sink fixed, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at it go. Look at it shaking. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh! It's almost the time. Wait. It's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomska. Tom Clancy. <laughs> we should make our way to the Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. Tom Scott Clancy. Okay. Uh, is there anything I could grab? Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to read that. Uh, the mustard has uh, adhered itself to the fridge door. Oh! Oh no! Wait, can I take the mug? Uh oh. So many of your I... internal organs are thank you for not uh using it. Yeah. Oh shit. Would you Sorry, that was loud. God damn it. So unprofessional. Oh fuck so... your ass. You're so fucking unprofessional. Alright, um well, let's go. Ready to head out? Yep. Yeah, we good. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, we've never seen this screen before. Yeah, this is the Stardust Club. So we're here. I'm just trying to look at the map. We're okay, here. yeah, we're there. I'm guessing that dot on the far edge is uh, Hayden's, yeah, Hayden's apartment. apartment. Yeah. And the Stardust Club. Shit. Let's go to the Stardust All right, Club. Here we go. Uh, this is you. This is you. Well, this looks like the place. Assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust. Hopefully you can find Tomcat inside and some answers. What the fuck is this guy? He's the bouncer. Look at that car. You can tell because he's neon colored and edgy. <laughs> Let's look at the reef. That's you. Oh yeah, right. They've really gotten into the holiday spirit. A 2060 ZS Coupe. Perfect for letting everyone know you spend a fortune on, of credits on a car. <laughs> Fucking waste of money. You push the car. <laughs> Let's talk to it. You tell the car to stay parked. It doesn't recognize your voice, so it just sits there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it did what we asked. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's talk to the... Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa. Let's just keep looking around. Uh, uh Window. You want to do one? Or the, or the, I mean, I could care less. You take a look inside the club. It's busy enough to feel like the place to, uh, place to be, but not so busy that you can't move. Okay. Look at the plant. We can poke the look plant. At the, look at the plant. And then poke it. Yes. These planters are completely self-contained. Mm. Yeah. You tap on the glass. The plant doesn't seem to notice. <laughs> can I talk to it? Either the plant doesn't hear you, or it's choosing you to ignore your attempts to talk to it. Okay. Uh, uh, let's talk to the bouncer. Let's look at him. The bouncer for Stardust seems almost pensive as he watches the street, pausing every now and then to take a drag from his vaporizer. Dude, he vapes. He vapes, bro. He vapes. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he's the bouncer. He vapes. <laughs> oh, uh, you can <laughs> hug him. <laughs> <laughs> hug the bouncer. <laughs> you try to hug the bouncer, but he pushes you back with a cold glare. <laughs> All right, whatever. Well, All right, let's talk to him. <laughs> Welcome to Stardust. Welcome to Stardust. All right then. Oh, so just I just walk in. I, I guess. Go on in. Look at the, the door. door. The door to Stardust is inviting. It looks packed tonight. Mm. Hold up there. Hold up there. You got, you got ID. ID. Okay, are you doing this or I'm, am I? I'm doing bouncer. Fucking. Show him, his, show him wait, your ID. We don't. Oh wait. Okay. Sh sh show him your ID. Um. Sh ID your ID. ID. All right. Looks good to me. All right. Cool. Welcome to Stardust. Oh, it's a buff boy. Oh baby. Uh, oh my. This is the place. Have you ever been here before, Butt Clench? Um. Uh huh. What, what do you want to choose? Cause I don't, I don't know. Nah, not my kind of place. Nah, it looks like a gay bar a little bit. At the gay bar, gay bar. That's a really good bar. song. It is. <laughs> you know, buy again? I, I can't remember, but for what it stands for, it's actually a really good song. <laughs> it's extremely. The, what the fuck's the oh, Bear Force One? <laughs> hey Marcus, it's extremely clenchy. <laughs> 
<laughs> fucking read the thing. I hate you. <laughs> it does seem a bit boisterous for your taste, at least from what I know of them. Still, the noise in the crowd should help keep our investigation clan uh, clandestine. Clandestine. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Um, I don't know. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look around the uh, gay bar. At the gay bar. <laughs> uh, gay bar. Gay bar. Gay bar. Gay bar. Gay bar. Uh, gay bar. <laughs> Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tom Clancy. <laughs> Rainbow Six. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Look at the posters from left to right. Okay. All right. Well, actually, no. If we're st okay. Sorry. A poster for the band Zazen, one of the more popular live acts here in the city. But yeah, let's just go with the. Uh, let's start with the. I really gotta stop doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, keep going with the uh, posters. Let's just take a look around everything before we start asking people. Okay. Scrap Brain, um, Brain, a new single by Zazen, sponsored by Arena Box. Hmm. Wait, you can use it? Hang on. It's a poster ad for the new art exhibit at New Drive in the Fillmore District. Now use it. Yeah. Careful, it's kind of cute there. <laughs> okay. A flyer for Zone 3, a new arcade about to open in Japantown. <laughs> they got Chinatown and Japantown. Nice. <laughs> Okay. Japanese people. <laughs> I'd save the location in my memory. Let's go once it opens. Oh. All right. So we have. So now we have a new place we can go to. Let's look at the chair. It's a chair. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Are you from. sure? <laughs> that sure is one chair there. Yep. Still a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Chairs are chairs are chairs. <laughs> what is this? You really have a thing for this chair. <laughs> You're in the hot seat. No! Oh, damn it! <laughs> it Why? got you! It got you! The fucking setup was so beautiful. Oh. It had a long setup, and the payout was worth it. Oh, fuck. Is One it more time. Phil. Do you butt clench? Promise to love and cherish. <laughs> oh my god! It even spelled it like chair. <laughs> Keep punning, I want to see. What the fuck? I want to see how far it'll go. Uh. <laughs> the chair seems pretty laissez-faire. Mm. What a strange love affair. <laughs> oh god, it's doing music. Time for you to lay it bare. <laughs> the chair returns your timid stare. Is that, is that it? It truly is your cross to bear. Is it just saying lyrics now? You feel like you could walk on air. No, they're just rhyming. Just relax. Let down your hair. It. Uh, how long does this go? <laughs> the chair waits as you declare. It's a jungle out there. So through all the wear and tear, even only on a wing and a prayer, <laughs> Time to ask it fair and square. <laughs> Will you be my beloved chair? <laughs> Does it keep going? No, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a committee of weirdos who stare in chairs, you would be the chairperson. That's the best that I can be said. <laughs> I want. I really. I want to keep going because I feel like there's an achievement. At least you care. I. I don't want to stop. No! That's, no! that's it! Oh! How could this happen to me? You know, I think we, we ran the joke into the ground. I, I, I three minutes clicking on a fucking chair. <laughs> only the, on it. Let's use it. Only the best content. It's not even a spinny chair. It only looks like one. So, wait. I, okay, whatever. What's this poster? Movie poster? Red World, an indie flick premiering in the Castro Theater. Hmm. Don't steal that poster. That would be super rude. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, I keep... Random glass of whiskey. It's a shot of whiskey. It's not yours. Don't drink drinks that aren't yours. <laughs> All right. Let's finally have a chat with the bartender. Are we going to say... <laughs> Look at him. A gruff-looking man holds down the bar. He seems friendly enough, given his size. 
Why did you put a pause there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is it because it said size? Let's touch yes. him. Reaching over the bar like that comes off pretty threatening. Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's talk to him. Hey, friend, <laughs> what can I do for you? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Sure. The first, let's uh, let's get you a drink. What'll it be? He seems like a total bro. Dude, bruh. Oh. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Um, you can choose. What more do they have? I don't know. PT, Butch Flower, Sunshine <laughs> <PT>. Cloud. <laughs> PT, PT is up there. Keep going. Sober Chauffeur, <laughs> Green Tea, Buzzer. Maybe just tea. Uh, more... Ingredients and ratios, netherworld, more sugar rush, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Spicy gentleman, Garbaldi. Groggy Nog! Groggy Nog! Groggy Nog! You wanna that do one. Groggy Nog? Okay, we're doing Groggy Nog. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? Dr drink Schnary, the free and open alcoholpedia says eggnog with a bit, a lot of bits of brandy inside. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Does Groggy Nog not sound? Oh fuck! He's the he's a bro. Oh yeah. Um. Does Groggy Nog not sound uh, sound good? Does Groggy Nog sound good? Yeah. Does Groggy Nog sound good? I don't fucking know. I yeah, my, buddy. You got my voice for him while I was picking drinks. <laughs> huh, all right, you got it. Coming right up. I forgot. He's like a sort of Joe Swanson. <laughs> yeah. He'll come right up next time on Satire Bullshit Day. Oh my God! Whoa! Whoa. God, you are such a groggy nig. <laughs> See you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>